well what we are talking about is uh, beyond man beyond manager beyond management uh, in fact i'm reshooting this whole thing uh, from this point because uh, we were cut off uh, i don't know why this happens uh, quite frequently hopefully when i upgrade to ios 15 uh not going to get the iphone 13 but uh, with the iphone 12 pro max itself maybe an upgrade to the of the ios to ios 15 will stop these issues of the recording getting abruptly uh, cut off in between even though i have a tremendous amount of memory 512 gb and 2 tb in the cloud i cloud uh well hmm, so let me see uh, i as i always tell i go with the flow so if i'm cut off recording and i re-record uh i may or may not be actually uh, delivering all that um, i was talking about so from next time onwards uh, probably i'll have um, an additional recorder on my ipad so that um, anything that is missed out on this might be um, combined with that which is recorded on the ipad because the quality even on the ipad pro is not as good as this because it doesn't have hdr um, even the latest ipad pro that we have um, the highest end one uh, keeping that in mind um, we already talked about this uh, 16 uh, word shloka similarly 24 uh, syllable shlokas like the gayatri mantra uh, and uh, many of these are very very standardized ones and it's very important to look at uh, each one of them specially because 16 is um, not only hexadecimal system and the size of many of these shlokas but it's also the shodha sha upachara puja where uh, we do 6 plus 10 16 uh, different uh, levels of um, ritualistic practices uh, and there also uh most of these things are applicable at the physical level and 16 into 7 uh, you see there are seven chakras within the body so 16 into 7 is what uh, it's 112 so there are 112 techniques that um are known uh, where you can work out of your physical body and this is again associated with uh, kashyapa maharishi uh, one of the uh, saptarishis uh, from the knowledge that he gets from our own nothingness and um uh, this particular thing of 112 is what you can do with the physical body and there also we'll say it's not just 112 but 114 uh, but those two you don't need the physical body to operate out of those and that's essentially what is um, uh, the procedure that we will uh, be incorporating from the matru pitru chakra over here and the uh, guru gayatri chakra which are beyond the physical the metaphysical and uh, we will see those uh, two techniques as well so right now our focus is on the 16s uh, at, uh, teenagers um, uh, or let's say kindergartners aspiring to be teenagers um, because the other pasture always seems greener right so the, the little kids are looking up to the teenagers and saying wow what a wonderful life they are having and the kind of uh, emotional turmoils uh, thanks to the hormonal uh, upsurges that the teenagers would be going through they might be wondering oh wow wow maybe uh, the youth uh, in their 20s are doing much um, better enjoying life and let's uh, be there so this is what uh, typically happens but uh, ours is a kindergarten um, to intimately discover the self and here uh, let's look at the 16s uh, beautiful 16 as we say padinari vaidinile now um, we take it uh, forward i have to keep checking every my watch every now and then not for the time but uh, whether the recording is going on you can see that um, uh, i can see the screen over here but sometime when i miss to do that going with the flow then i uh, see that the recording has stopped and uh, don't even know about it right uh, so let's let's hope this doesn't happen an- another time at least today um well uh, so the 16 we are talking about right so uh, we come back and sureshwaram we already saw can be looked upon two ways one is as ishwara of the sur- suras Uh, which uh, essentially means that um, we have crossed through our rajasic phase and we are now into our satvic phase and the other one is as the surkaish uh, that is basically of our communication skills which is essentially a um, uh, platform to go to the next level so um, it kind of bisects between the uh, manipur chakra and the vishuddhi chakra now coming to the vishuddhi chakra very special vishakanta um, and um, vishwadhara 
is what uh, is the name in the Shantakaram Mantram, Vishakanta being na uh, name of um, Shiva. And um, Adharam, the very basis, the foundation and uh, Vishwa of the entire universe of the multiverse. Uh, many people without knowing um, talk about uh, uh, the dark energy and dark matter. Um, even the um, uh, topmost uh, physicists are still uh, breaking their head to unravel these concepts because these are just uh, to showcase our ignorance uh, that we have brought this. In reality, it is Mahakala and Mahakali and um, Vishakanta is one of their attributes where uh, Mahakali has to stop the Visha at the um, neck of uh, uh, Mahakala and uh, that's in a story form but essentially what it means is that we have reached a stage where we have crossed over all of the uh, physicality we've come to the space time which is the very basis of the physicality because uh, it's only those things which are finite in space that means to have a length width and height and which are finite in um, time which have a birth and death um, or an origin and a, a culmination the only those things are the physical made out of the Panchabhutas and once uh, we have crossed over the Panchabhutas come to the fifth of the Panchabhutas namely um, Kala or Akasha or Gagana uh, then we see that in fact the next name will involve Gagana so it's interesting connect how it gets established uh, between one to the other because it's actually a continuous flow just for the sake of explanation we talk of it as discrete points as stations uh, the train is actually moving through continually right it's just that it may not be stopping at all the stations or but you uh, through the window you could probably see that we are passing through so many towns and cities and villages and uh, fields and forests mountains and rivers and so many other terrain so it's like that it's a continuous flow and that's why you would see a correlation between uh, every chakra and the next so what we are talking about is Vishwadhara here that I am the foundation the basis uh, of this uh, entire universe of, I'm the framework for this entire universe and when I'm saying I I'm talking about I the real I the I as Brahman I as Prana are uh, the mother to the entire universe. Yadhevi Sarva Bhuteshu Matru Rupena Samstita Namastasyai 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 Namo Namaha. We are talking of Mother Saraswati there and our nature as Mother Saraswati because uh, I am a mother to the entire universe, not from the obvious facts that I am. Uh, let's say loving, sharing, caring and compassionate but from the very basic root fact the reason for all of this that I am a mother to the entire universe and that's why all these motherly attributes of love, care, share etc um, compassion come automatically I don't need to be taught them separately and of course the communication skills the artistic nature and the creative energy with which the creator Brahma creates is nothing but uh, talking about our own latent potential that which we have not brought to the fruition uh, but we are the creator we create our own world that's why the way I see the world is different from the way you see the world because your experience of the world is the way you have created your world you, my experience of the world is the way I have created my world at this point in time and in the next moment both of us can create it in a very different way so we create it every moment and recreate it every other moment and that recreate is the source word of recreation or recreation or entertainment as well so it's all happening in a play as in a leela and um, that's uh, that's the beauty of this whole process right mm, good it's still recording uh, it's a good check to have every once in a while now going from the Vishwadhara that I am the foundation of the entire universe or multiverse uh, I create it I create it every moment recreate it every other moment uh, I am Brahma not only Brahman but I am also that aspect of uh, Brahman which creates and therefore Brahma and that energy of Brahma which makes creation, uh, communication, artistic nature, everything possible. I am that Saraswati too. That is what we mean by um, Vishwadharam. And then we move on to say Gagana Sadrusham. 
and gagana sadrusha means that um uh, I, i am what space time ha- happens to be and what the trans transcending of the space time needs to be because sa drusham uh, can be thought of in many different ways one of the ways is to see it as a, a view of that space time construct as the basis what we saw as a vishwadharam now we recognize that from the agnya chakra when we are operating as um, not just uh, the uh, mother parvati but the grandmother mother saraswati but the grandmother parvati now we are um, even more profound the source of the source and then uh, the source of all the panchabhutas including gagana or akasha uh, or space time and therefore in that intuitive sense through the third eye the pituitary and the pineal uh, right here by focusing on the eyebrows which we can do just by tilting our head slightly backwards and upwards then automatically the gaze will shift to between the eyebrows not uh, very um, done forcibly uh, to get a headache but just naturally you would see that the focus is between the eyebrows at the agnya chakra the third eye recognizing our nature as uh, the uh, peaking of all celebrations parvati uh, as the dark energy itself Uh, which constitutes almost this entire universe uh, three fourths of it to be uh, more precise according to the scientists current estimations and then we recognize this name that after vishwadharam it is gagana sadrusham so from here from this view point this perch that we have like a bird on top of a tree can see so many things down and an eagle which fly or a vulture which flies far higher can see um, all its prey down there and our prey is all these panchabhutas that our physical physicality is made out of our subtle nature of the mind and the intellect all these we can see from a uh, 30000 feet um, birds view um, uh, from uh, flying on an aircraft which is very Uh, at a flying at a very high altitude you look at look down on um, where you are from your source your mother earth <coughs> as um, rakesh sharma indicated to indra gandhi <coughs> when he was a cosmonaut on a russian uh, spacecraft sare jahan se acha hindustan hamara Uh, that's how we look at it and the way we have been constructed we are very very thankful for where we came from but we recognize where we are right now and that is uh, gagana sadrusha then we go on to the uh, sahasrara chakra um gagana sadrusha uh, megha varnam is what we uh, say over there megha uh, beautiful word for megha bantu megha 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 a lovely uh, film song in kannada uh, where we are talking about the dark cloud uh, mega shama we call to we call krishna and it's that same darkness that is the character of shiva that our own nothingness of um, a black hole of dark matter and uh, essentially its attractive feature krishna akarshana and um, that's uh, what uh, that's the nature that we are referring to as Uh, megha varnam varnam uh, can be taught off in uh, multiple ways varnam is a color varnam is also um, the category to which you belong the category to which i belong is black which is the all inclusive category a category in terms of segregation discrimination of religion language caste creed um, age and gender uh, uh, education and uh, profession etc all of that dies down and we are at the sahasrara in an all inclusive way and in that a megha varnam and megha or uh, that kind of an all inclusivity is possible only for the color black uh, not possible for the white uh, it's possible for the darkness not for the light and that darkness uh, is what shiva tatva krishna tatva is associated with and we are beautifully referring to it as megha shama or mega varnam uh, over here to showcase our all inclusivity already we said at sureshwara we have crossed over our rajasik gunas we are venturing into the satvik gunas and now we are peaking into our satvik guna 
uh, while coming here via the Vishuddhi Chakra. We wore Lakshmi Narayana, we wore Saraswati Brahma and now we are Parvati transcended that and come to the Shiva Tattva of Meghashyama where we are Triguna Tita, we are beyond all the three Gunas um, of uh, Tamas below the Muladhara, of Rajas uh, between Muladhara and the Manipura and uh, the Sattva between the Anahata and the Agnya and now uh, we are venturing into the Triguna Tita state as an interface as Megha Shyama and this Megha uh, it's not just about its color being dark black and therefore all attractive but the way a cloud is formed uh, of course there are many different types of cloud but to make it uh, very very simplistic for the layman it's the way it collects uh, droplet after droplet painstakingly from the earth uh, on or rather its oceans and then um, the evaporation eventually condensing at a very high altitude where the temperatures and pressures are conducive for that um, low pressure and um, very low temperature and then it forms that uh, massive body called the cloud and that's how uh, our inclusivity is of inclusivity of everything and recognizing its small small nature but yes as a part of the whole every one of it uh, is the whole itself in some way like every ray of the sun is in essence some part of the sun itself and uh, the way sun uh, produces the energy you know the nuclear fission that is happening with the helium breaking into hydrogen and releasing that energy uh, through the uh, breakage of the helium nuclei and uh, in that sense there it is uh, essentially what is ha sorry um, uh, the hydrogen combining to form the um, the helium uh, as opposed to what we are doing on earth mostly to create the nuclear energy in the form of nuclear fission where we are taking larger atoms like uranium thorium etc and breaking them to create the energy through nuclear fission so there it is nuclear fusion the sun is giving an example of its through all inclusivity that much more massive energy is possible so all the atomic energy that we know of uh, fades in front of nuclear fusion that is happening of uh, the hydrogen atoms coming together to form the um, hydrogen nuclei coming together to form the helium nucleus and um, that is essential all inclusivity of mega shama of how the cloud itself is formed and how it then um, like the sun it burns itself uh, to create the energy for all the uh, planets around it uh, which are revolving around it and uh, similarly the cloud creates the rain nurturing the earth from which uh, source it originally got that um, uh, all of what it is made out of and that's essentially what we are doing we are recognizing our fundamental building blocks and once we go up there uh, uh, we are also recognizing the fact that um, we are made out of that and we have to contribute back to that and that's essentially what I'm doing over here um, uh, what I am today is out of what all of you are I'm what these Panchabhutas are and um, we need to express that gratitude going back uh, down further and that's essentially what happens um, through this uh, Mahalia Paksha also when we express the gratitude um, out there so mega shama uh, so maybe um, uh, mega varna uh, we'll stop with just half this line because already i think it's taken uh, quite some time so we'll go to the next two um, probably in a later episode i do not want uh, these things to cross much beyond half an hour uh, so so that it uh, keeps you engaged um, because as far as I'm concerned I can go on for hours you have seen my six hour videos on the Vasanta Kumari channel uh, Srimati Vasanta Kumari Sampat my mother's channel uh, but uh, I can go way beyond that for days on end I can be in silence uh, you saw my 40 days 42 day silence uh, Maunavrata and I can be uh, talking continuously also for uh, the entire 24 hours uh, especially when I'm talking about it let's say uh, my own professional aspects like uh, composite structure or uh, an aircraft or any fly, uh, flight related things uh, or even more so when I'm talking of these spiritual aspects 
so I need to keep a check so that uh, the consumers are also uh, in tune with what uh, the speed and the, uh, the quantity at which I'm giving the content and um, I pay a lot of attention to the quality as well uh, the quality is very very important for me because a lot of what I'm saying is not um, uh, prepared just for you folks um, uh, let's say my peer group of my age group or um, uh, people older than me or younger than me um, very tiny thoughts no 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 I'm uh, keeping in mind the great grandchildren of those tiny tots who are uh, re, uh, who are born recently so in the sense that i want to make this uh, futuristic because many of the things that i'm mentioning uh, many people uh, with a scientific background uh, will not be able to understand because the scientific western lexicon has not improved well enough to understand all of these topics so many of things that i'm saying now uh, the sci great scientists of the future um, will definitely both in India and in the West will recognize as um, uh, really really uh, sound principles to build up their own uh, theories and uh, practical understanding of science and um, which is the reason why I make all of these in the highest possible resolution with my own resources that is at 4k uh, which is uh, like four times the um, full HD and um, at 60 frames per second because uh, I want people to go through it in slow motion and to observe not just what I'm speaking the sound waves but also the uh, the way in which these things are being conveyed uh, through a body language um, and that's why the 60 frames per second is very important for me um, I might even go to 240 frames per second as we get into some of the deeper um, practices that we get into uh, in slow motion and uh, I also shoot it in HDR which is the high dynamic range to make sure that uh, the colors and the um, lighting is picked up um, as accurately as possible still um, when the when our um, when four or five generations down the line watch this for them according to the technology that they might have at that point of time this might look like how we look at uh, some of our talkies like uh, uh, of the uh, 20s or 30s some of those silent movie era uh, but still we get a lot of useful information from that right and uh, practical information so uh, in the same way I want this to be uh, far more long lasting so that's why I'm not even worried about the number of views and things like that at this point of time because I know uh, many of the concepts and um, the philosophy and the practical experience that I'm sharing is an inner experience um, which unless uh, people are already into the spiritual path for very long uh, may not recognize but in the future even people who are not into the spiritual path but by the very fact that the scientific lexicon has improved at that point of time may be able to understand and appreciate at least intellectually what I'm saying and which is why uh, I keep this uh, future ready so just focus on um, these two uh, new uh, names that we have um, discussed today Vishwadharam that I am the foundation of this entire universe and uh, uh, oh yeah we talked about three right uh, Gagana Sadrusham the fact that um, now that I have transcended even space time I look at space time and all the solid liquid gas and energy that I made out of or my physicality was made out of and my subtle nature was made out of I am way beyond all of that and therefore all these three are paying obeisance or namaste um, and namaskar to who I really am uh, these are my tools these are finite in space and time they have a birth they have a death they have a finite size and however big that might be yet uh, they are negligible compared to who I really am an infinite sized balloon uh, which doesn't have a beginning anadi and which doesn't have an end ananta and um, that is to what our body mind and intellect bows down so we've gone beyond the karanyasa we've gone beyond the anganyasa to this chakranyasa and uh, we finally saw uh, meghavarna 
uh, to recognize our dark color and the way we are formed like a cloud and way we give ourselves like the cloud to the entire society to the entire universe uh, to whomever we can contribute towards um, not only of this knowledge and wisdom but of the experiential nature and therefore in, even in a practical physical sense because it's not that uh, as we raise our kundalini it remains there it keeps moving uh, down and up and that's where uh, this whole process of shantakaram bhujageshainam padmanabham suresham vishwadharam gagana sadrusham Meghavarnam and so on. We will I'll not, uh, some of you know, of course, you know the entire Vishnu Sahasranama, many of you chant. Um, but the way I have observed many people chanting, because I have seen thousands of people chanting this, but it's mostly mechanical. Mm, well, you do get some benefits out of doing that as well, but. Um, once you go into depth, you, you may not know all the thousand wo words or names associated with the forms there or the formless too. But um, even if just one word there you take, and any one of them, doesn't matter which, whichever appeals to you, just take that and go deeper and deeper into it. It's far more engaging and far more fruitful in an experiential sense than uh, mugging up the whole thing and uh, reciting it um, like a parrot. Um, well, that's, as I said, useful too. But um, it's like putting uh, your uh, smartphone uh, to uh, use like a stone to throw it at somebody to hurt them. And that, that's all that you can do uh, through that, those kinds of mechanical chanting. But you can deepen your practice once you start engaging uh, in the association of each one of these names with the chakras and uh, take this dhyana because it's called a dhyana shloka shantakaram bhujagashainam is a dhyana shloka for the uh, entire vishnu sahasranama it's just before the uh, thousand names start uh, being recited by bhishma uh, this is uh, how um, the preamble is set up to it prior to that there is of course the uh, karanyasa anganyasa etc um, and various other um, dialogues to set a story context to it mm, but um, yeah we are going beyond story history to truth and reality in our experience not just hearsay namaskaram